Keegan Murray. Can't leave this guy alone. Goes. There he is. Baseline shot. And <laughs> on his way. You were hoping they'd post him up. McCaffrey off a really good game yesterday. Had a good look early. Tough. Shot clock. Pretty good day. Take it from the corner. Pass nice around. Tip. And put back up and in by Keegan. Brother to brother. Nice little tip keeping it alive. Chris. Oh, because Ivy wanted it. He's not afraid of those long range three point shots. Nice looking stroke though. Speaking of strokes. Keegan, not this time. They give him a license though to come in. He's made a couple of big plays at that end of the floor. Plus a basket. Keegan Murray turn around. Pack around to Purdue. Tough shot right there, but how about here's Ulis sing minutes. The Murray three. Look at that. Oh, Look at that. <laughs> he didn't have any room. He had none. Williams right. They will pick and pop. Just hit the shot. St. Louis was very good. And Williams out battling her. I think Murray has to touch the ball in this possession. And Williams was it on great balance. A good shot. Edie just throw it up to him. He'll finish. Ties the game at 36. He's got the shot. There it is from the corner. Oh, that's yeah. back. It hits the three. He did a great read having the big guy. Has its first lead of the game. Murray says, let's try to make that not for long. On the floor with it. Another Back out to him. Not going to miss that one. <laughs> not two in a row. Clean look. Nice kick in the lob here. High low. Yeah. Four to shoot. Step back, Keegan. Up short with it. Saved by Perkins. Oh, uh, late. Saving it. <laughs> Murray. Oh, rare sight. He's got him now. This match. Right over the top they go. Couldn't find the cylinder. Tap four or five times. Look at that. On the floor, Perkins. Get the defense out. But it's a two possession game right now, yeah. Purdue. And they do throw oh. a home run. The too far? Uh, they'll chase after it. Oh, he oh. puts it down. Woo. What a pass by McCaffrey. It's amazing with Keegan Murray. They don't really call a lot of plays for him. He just gets his opportunities within the flow. Now, here he goes. Tough Set match for him. Oh, and it's blocked and rejected by Jackson Davis, setting up Bohannon. Iowa set a Big Ten tournament record for most field goals, most points in the game against Northwestern. Here's Murray with a three. They've only made one field goal so far. It took them over three minutes to get their first bucket. Is this kid. There's Murray. There's the other one. Yeah, that's a three. If one doesn't get you, the other does. He's so good. At times, can... again, they don't run much. But Murray does it all on his own. Keegan, that is. Here is Keegan. Yes. Right there. He's showing off his skill. Caffrey back outside. Bohannon. Can he do it again? Yes. Yes. Four yes. straight trips. He's made three of them. He can get the matchup he wants if they give it to him. Great, great front inside by Cobb. Now he gets it. A little fadeaway action. Failed him out on that shot. Yeah. Up ahead. Quickly now. Down. They need him. He's got a great stroke. Underneath they go, and it drops. Chance to take the lead for the first time at the line. And go, and go. Galloway loads it up. Nice check out, too. On Thompson, nice run out again. He gun takes it to the hole and delivers the bucket. Dennis Rodman like in how short the floor. Finally, a touch for Keegan Murray. Doesn't last long. Here it is outside, top of the key. Three-point shot for sure. And Th Thompson's a little frustrated. He's not comfortable coming up. Here's Bohannon trying to work up that screen. Murray, he had just enough time this time, though. He's been deadly from out there today. Yeah, really incorporating with his ball club. 
That was the first turnover committed by the Hoosiers in over 10 minutes of game action. Look at that step, and the ball is knocked out. And they say they might have an overrule. Is back up to seven. Hawkeyes keep trying to chip back away when they pull pretty much even. Hoosiers go back on a roll. Oh, There's Murray now for the fifth time. He's knocked it down from outside. That was dead on right from uh -oh. well, we thought He was ready. <laughs> yeah, he was ready. It's five out of seven from out there. How about like that six out of eight. I just drew him a little suckage. <laughs> on the baseline. Jumper in and out. That's going to Indiana. That pass a little out of reach. And this team can burn you quickly. Get on the board. Murray. Just had to have it. They don't back off. France mentality permeate pressure. Gave him fits. Don't leave him. Bohannon. Not but who's stop. there? Murray. Back up with it. How about that with the left hand, too? He knew he went right. It would have been blocked. 4.45 to go. There's a little double and a pop out. In three minutes, they've made it all up. And now can tap the lead on a Murray three. You called it, coach. He's got some stuff on his offensive back there. I mean, he can pull some stuff out of there like he did that time on that nice run. Keegan Murray going to work, and it rolls all the way around the rim and pinballs into the hands of McCaffrey, Patrick McCaffrey to work, curling down the right side of the lane. That runner through the hands of Amore, right to Keegan Murray for his first two. Keegan Murray's had a great sense for what will that. Want to come to the state, the University of New Jersey, and show out, and show up. There's Murray with five to shoot, pinballs out, and the rebound tipped to McConnell. That's right. Absolutely. Yeah, that means Caleb McConnell's a smart man, knowing well, Steve Pichel wants to really be great is on this end of the floor. Keegan Murray, that shot tipped a little bit by Harper and out of bounds. They dissect it and end up with an easy dunk for Cliff Murray at the rim. Nice job by Rucker. Off the inbound, Keegan Murray fighting his way through contact. Able to muscle it up and get to the defensive Rucker. Iowa trying to penetrate and kick for shooters, but there's no one that's open. Three seconds inside, they find Murray got a good look, just couldn't finish. Good find by Perlin baseline on the drive. That won't go. Keegan Murray with a good box out. Hawks looking to run. They're so good in the open floor. Keegan end to end for the one hand flush. Bringing it out of no with nine to shoot. Here's Keegan. Six points for Keegan Murray. Now McCaffrey. Four seconds. Out it goes to Keegan Murray for three. And Murray there for his third rebound. Thank you. That's what's made them so, you know, so difficult to deal with because offensively, man, they are a handful. I like the re-entry into the post as Keegan Murray gets fouled by Milwaukee. On the Big Ten. Baker. Rutgers has missed their last eight shots. Down by five. McCaffrey lobbing inside. Murray with the finish and the foul. Ooh, and he's looking at Bo Borowski for a foul, but able to finish through all that contact. Keegan Murray, one-on-one -on -one against Harper, into the paint. Hook shot rattles home, 14 for Keegan Murray in the first half. Shmuel Cahey doesn't have numbers, and it's taken away by Chris Murray. Sanford now, ahead it goes. McCaffrey, the lob to Keegan Murray! The half-court out. Ten to shoot. Perkins in trouble in the corner. Oh, what a catch. Really good catch and finish by Keegan Murray. That takes strong hands, doesn't it, Steve? Here's Patrick McCaffrey, nine to shoot. Murray with five on the shot clock. Fading away. Oh. Keegan Murray. He's got every... Threw that one high off the window. Perkins. Here's Murray for three. He liked the shot. It was online. It really was like that. Unless you got some strength. Ron Harper Jr. Now that's weight room right there. There's Murray trying to answer with a three. Rebound tipped by Amori to Mulcahy. And Mulcahy three for five from deep. There's Murray again. That one off the heel. And do we have another stuck ball? We do not. We had one of the first down. Seven on the shot clock now for Perkins. Robracha sets the screen. Step back three. That's an air ball caught by Murray fading away, grazing the iron. And Mulcahy with the. McConnell. 
The skip intercepted. Keegan Murray read that one all the way. Murray to the other end. Two-hand hammer. You see how fast he got down the floor? That's for hands. McCaffrey out to Murray. Keegan off the fake drive and inside with a left hand. Rebracha there for the offensive rebound and put back. Yeah, Iowa does a great. Keegan Murray really well defended. 8-2, Iowa. Murray inside. The follow won't go for Perkins, and then the tip in drops. Well, you got Perkins. You got Murray on the offensive glass. Northwestern getting ants, and it's taken away by Perkins. Third turnover. Perkins the lob to Murray, and the tip in gives Iowa the quick 11 point advantage. And very well. Did it for a lot of years at the next level. That's right. Four for Nance, Murray's three falls. Keegan Murray can do it all. He has seven and a half ago was really good in Iowa City at 19. And Ty Berry, once he gets it going, a little streaky, but gets it going, really effective. Oh, Murray got his own miss, couldn't put that one in. There's Rebracha to clean it up inside. He's been good to start with six. Early in the shot clock. Berry missing both free throws, 71% foul shooter, but could not connect there. Here's Murray looking from deep, hitting from deep. Keegan Murray with 10 in the first eight minutes. Word by Casey Simmons to find Nance for two. Quickly down the floor, Connor McCaffrey. Keegan Murray on the spin, the hook. No, oh, wow. oh, yes. Boy, he took that right out of Brian Greer's hands and able to finish. Second time that Northwestern. Oh, I was going to say, I thought McCaffrey was going to look away. Keegan Murray, this is where he wants it. Keegan Murray fading away, gets the two. Robbie Barrett trying to coax a call. Perkins under 10 on the shot clock. Murray able to secure that loose ball. Muscles it over Barron. Barron didn't move, and Murray just said, I'm a little bit. And the rebound to Chris Murray. Perkins bomb inside to Keegan Murray for the flush. And Northwestern will use its second start for Northwestern. That's right. And the pitch is up. They're animated. Murray can erase any good feelings very quickly, as he's done all year in this league. Side of that rim. Well, he was very intentional about what he was doing on that particular move. Trying to lob it to Murray, and with the touch, just caressing it over the side of the, the tournament record. Two from setting a new record for the Big Ten Tournament. Trying for the tie. There's the tie, and it's Keegan Murray, who's got 26. He turned into a switching zone, and it really worked, helped them get back in the game. They ended up losing, but I expect to see a lot of switching defenses today. Keegan Murray's first shot contested into the hands of Coburn. 155th game, first time that he led the Illini. Murray gets the defender to fly by. The Big Ten's leading score gets blocked by Coburn. Trent Frazier back the other way. He's up for the challenge, though. He's been a much improved defensive player on the perimeter this season. Murray fires away. Offline. Long rebound. Tipped out. Iowa's got it. Perkins, no. Murray follows with the slam. How about the effortlessness that he springs off the floor with? I mean, it's... It, that was really easy. It was a game. Mm -hmm. Murray goes by Hawkins, soft touch off the window. So many different ways drilling it. And so he has earned the right to take those shots with his efficient shooting. Nice pass. Murray got behind Hawkins and finished. And Iowa does not have that game plan so far. Murray against Hawkins, takes it down the lane. Shot was altered by Coburn, but followed by Rabracha. And Kofi Coburn came out about trying one. Instead came out about trying one. Instead puts it in the deck. Gives it up for Murray. Keegan stepping back. Launching. Off the heel. Long rebound to Hawkins. And Frazier back in there. And credit Tony Perkins with that deflection. He has been everywhere. It feels, feels like there's been two or three of them out there. Murray left hand no. Coburn's got the rebound. And he's close to a double-double in the first. Now, Iowa had the 44, 43 points in the first half, and they did it almost entirely without Jordan Bohannon. Here's a follow dunk from Rebracha off the Murray miss. Bohannon had two. Former misses a three. 
neither one have really made an impact. I mean, Frazier made that nice assist, but offensively, just two points combined. Murray leaves it short. Robracha there for the miss. But making the shot, it was more of a purposeful pass, a la Moses Malone. Keegan Murray. Rebound Frazier. Joe Toussaint gave him some great minutes in the first half. He's back in, controls here. Keegan Murray, catch and shoot, and there you go. Knocks down a three. That's it, almost 40%. Here's Murray inside, contested by Frazier, but scores anyways. And the foul on a chance at three. Chop blocker. But if you just put it on a platter, he can't. Murray bullies his way inside, can't finish. Perkins there to clean it up. The entire defense collapsed around Kofi. It looked like he had four black shirts surrounding him. Murray going baseline over Hawkins, left it short. Hawkins ripped down the rebound, his ninth. Here's the dunk. Murray, a great catch and banks it in. Such good hands. Out with a stomach issue, and I thought that they were going to be in big trouble. That was not the case. Devontae Jones, their point guard, was awesome. Keegan Murray trying to take Coleman Hawkins to the bucket. The heel. Early shot there. That was supposed to be a back screen for Kofi Coburn. Keegan Murray puts Iowa back in front. 21 for Murray. Keegan Murray thought about three. Now fire it up there, thinking that he was going to get a foul call that he never did. There was contact, and that easily could have. Murray around and out. Curbelo there for the board. Illinois leading by Keegan Murray backing down on Coleman Hawkins the Big Ten's leading score got blocked by Coburn a tie-up Possession arrow sends it to Illinois Right now for Michigan Now, you know as much as we talk about Iowa and their what they do offensively as you see there They've done a much better job of late on the defensive end available to help if needed Here's Murray a little pump fake, driving in on Diabate, just kind of slid by him, but couldn't get the scoop to go. Jones in transition. Ten to shoot, not much going on yet for Iowa in this offensive possession. Keegan Murray will launch from deep and hit. I guess not much has to happen when you've got a guy like Keegan Murray who can score from anywhere. Payoffs at the next level. There's Murray, five to shoot, launching again, hitting again. Keegan Murray, eight, quick, out of the... Get you to that floater. There's Bohannon, back out to Murray. Murray will launch again from deep, and he'll hit again. Three for three from behind the arc. He's got the situation in here. Absolutely not. It almost made it worse for Diabate. It's just a one-foot pass into defense. Now it leads to a bucket at the other end, and... You know, it has to be a concern. And Jones Jr. He'll back it out. Connor McCaffrey will reset. Here's Murray. The three over Williams. You bet. Keegan Murray has the range. He's got the school that wasn't a real place so that nobody would get mad. It might be, so we're probably both in trouble. Probably. <laughs> Gonna be boycotted by the Poughkeepsie State Alumni Association. Poughkeepsie State Tigers. That's a 10. Here's Keegan Murray. He'll drive on Houston. Blocked away. Ball loose. Dickinson's got it. Sky hook. There's Keegan Murray. He's going to work and tipped out of bounds. It'll go to Northwestern. Last touched by Rebracha. Keegan Murray, fourth in the country. Offensive rebound. That won't go. Murray in there for the board and the putback. That's going to be the game for Northwestern. And Iowa... Over the last six or seven games, it has really become a force on the glass. Philip Abrancha, a terrific offensive. Got to get everybody on the same page, clicking at once. They've lost four of their last five games coming into this one against Fran McCaffrey's Iowa Hawkeyes, who are on the opposite side of that coin. They've won six out of seven. The only loss in that was certainly his ninth. Murray will try the three. Off the heel and rebounded by Nance. Oh, 
he's trying to. He is really providing some high value for Fran McCaffrey. Ryan Greer will start it up for Northwestern. Offense on ice, just two of seven early for the Wildcats. Got to find a way to get. Eulist, the pop to Murray. Keegan Murray all alone and a beautiful feed. So concerned about Keegan Murray making his way to that elbow because they love to clear him out in that. Chris Collins, I mean, he's been so efficient and effective around the basket. This is one way to thwart Iowa's pressure. Nance can really handle the ball for a big guy. Not going to skip there. Keegan Murray will try to carry him there with that three. The double by is just so huge in the sense that if you want to win this tournament, the three games in three days versus four and four makes all the difference. You see earlier today that he was going to go, but he wasn't sure how good he was going to feel by tonight, non-COVID situation, but he just was a little under the weather, and that may be the case here. We see a little bit more from Barnett. They will not play till Friday, but Wednesday is when the tournament begins on the Big Ten Network. And a takeaway, Keegan Murray with the steal and the plus. He just has so much length, and you got a freshman out there in Brooks Barn. The footwork is there. It's just a little bit of a shot fake to get Barron off balance, and Keegan Murray now an opportunity for a three-point play. There's a lot to like about the way that Iowa's played over the last two weeks. Boy, what a pass. And what a catch underneath by Keegan Murray. That was just well done on both ends, top to bottom. And Jordan Bohannon saw it the whole way, and you're right. We're talking about Iowa's offensive rebounding, but none were more impressive than Keegan Murray's last. He's got 22 points. And we are not even to the under 16. Ash inside to Murray. Two hand flush for Keegan Murray, who has 26 points and 18 rebounds. Give Ash the assist. It's an easy basket. You go down on a possession, and he doesn't even get to touch the rock one time, and he had the mismatch. Launching, missing there with Murray. Quick put shot selection. That's just a terrible shot. That's a run out for Iowa, and that usually leads to bad things at the other end. Murray, good things on that end as he just jump steps right through the paint to score. Yep. Iowa by a tally. Murray launches in and out, rattle it around. Well, that's just too wide open for Murray. He's rimmed to come up with the turnover, so he's already knocked in a three-point shot. Played great defense. He should have shot that one. What an assist. Oh, and Murray tried to squeeze it in, but the defense was there. Staying on the floor. Just picks up too many fouls and can't get a rhythm. Keep your hands off, guys, and just rebound and run. Murray overlay. The Bracho. Murray goes to work. Double team threat to sandwich it. Foul on the floor. Murray goes to work. And gets it. Keegan Murray is always under control. Could have forced it a couple times, moved it. He's like, oh, now he's been in college for about 10 years. I don't know why they feel these like Iowa it. guys stay in college that long, but. Ah, that's too easy. And pretty finish by Keegan. That's good defense, and that's great offense. Bohannon, drive and kick to Murray. Rimmed up, Bohannon chases it down. A blowout tonight, like the Huskers suffered in Iowa City a couple weeks ago. Murray tried the up and under, and it won't go. With no time on the shot. Oh, those are killers. Webster missed in the corner. There's the feed. There's the fit. Back up top to Sun. Who's the other one? in one. I say the other, but Keegan says, hey, bro. It's the front end. There's his brother for the feed. Bucket and the foul. The Murray's taking over here in Lincoln. Hay que seguirlos, obviamente, por supuesto, Murray. Ya hablábamos de él. Ojo con McCaffrey, también un elemento que tiene un buen tiro a la larga distancia. Y justo usted lo volvió a mencionar y ahí penetró por el medio, se apoyó en el tablero. 
Perdón. En, el, en los, eh, el, la diferencia en cuanto a pérdidas, ¿no? Lanzando en el fairway el jumper desde la izquierda y anotando al poste bajo. Intentando Kika Murray que penetra por línea de base, cambia de mano apoyándose en el tablero y anota. 11 a 4, ya son 6 puntos de Kika Murray y no anotando el triple. 14 a 9. Penetrando con una mano, termina fallando sin embargo. Kika Murray, aquí el rebote lo... Otra vez al ataque, Iowa. De nuevo para intentar el triple, triplazo. Keegan Murray. Que sigue como empezó. El... Un pone movimiento. Intentando el triple. Murray, triplazo. Inmediatamente el pase afuera. Al perímetro por izquierda. Keegan Murray. 14 puntos. A los anotadores. De Iowa State. Keegan Murray que penetra. Keegan Murray con una mano. El rebote. El pase afuera. Venía conquistando el rebote. Rebraca. Otra vez Keegan Murray. Con Hall. Lo dobla. De nuevo el pase. Por izquierda intentando el triple. Triplazo. Max Christie. Ahora 10 puntos la ventaja. 39-29. Se acerca Michigan State. Perkins. Ataca la canasta. Y viene limpiando la basura. Keegan Murray fallaba Perkins, pero Murray ganó el doble. 29-43, 18 puntos para Keegan Murray. Aquí Keegan Murray de nuevo. Que se voltea Keegan Murray. El pase. Intenta el triple Murray. Cuando parecía que se le escapaba, inclusive parecía que caminaba, intentó el triple. Otra vez con Murray. Se la devuelven para que intente el triple en el aro. La bota conseguía Perkins, que vuelve a salir al perímetro. Pase rebotado adentro. Keegan Murray penetra, se voltea. Keegan Murray de doblan. Tablado y doble. Qué bárbaro. Y la falta. Espectacular. 19. Iowa. Murray. Y anota. Intentando jumper desde la derecha cuando. De poco le ha servido. 30 puntos de la banca de los 49 que tiene. Los titulares no están produciendo. Anotando Keegan Murray. Los puntos más para él. El pase a Rick. Slow down for Malachi right now. And now he's utilizing his God-given talent to exploit that offensively. Patty Mack with the rebound. And Iowa finally gets to go. Looks like Keegan Murray. Right place, right time. Well, but the defense is going to skew Murray's way, so if you're smart... Had it around, picked up by the Hawkeyes. And that's where, on the road, talking to Fran McCaffrey, got to compete on the board. You see Murray right there. I mean, his ability, you, you think about this, off balance, successful, if you can get it down deep to EJ. Not only can he score, but he's a capable playmaker. Murray across the lane, forced that one up. Rebound goes to... Rapracha, new shot clock. Patty Mack inside, picked it up in no man's land. Murray D deflected by Liddell on the floor. Murray bouncing, guarded by Arns. And that jump shot goes down by Murray. They're two of them, folks. They're two. <laughs> They'll rank it and take it into the front court. Back door. Keegan. Oh, oh, look at him hang. And lay it in with contact down the foul. He's got 10 quick ones. Huh. Murray puts it on the floor. Left hand off the glass. Nose. Chases down his own rebound and tips it in. Well, but your friend McCaffrey does an outstanding job of placing Murray. Wise camping. Luca left. That allowed Keegan's game to expand, but he put in the work over the summer. Beautiful play right here out of the timeout. That time to get Murray. Keegan. And hits. Boy, this kid is smooth. What? Gym time. Wolverines are on the outside looking in, according to the experts. Murray. 
loose. And a five. points on a four or five shooting. Chris Murray blocked again by the deck. Inside to his brother. And he'll jam it down. Eight oh eight to play. Here's Chris Murray deep, short. Bradham read that, and I don't even think Kyle Young had enough space on the baseline to be able to catch that and finish. Chris Murray turns. Wow. Woo! Ulis. Chris Murray spinning, cut off. Tried to deal it, save from going out of bounds right to his brother. Keegan for the easy jam. Team that has not lost a game at home this year, 11 and 0. Keegan Murray drives, stops, fades off the front, and Chris Murray. Iowa plays at a fun pace. We know they score 84 points a game, but the pace is what allows them to be patient. And that guy right there, if you are stuck in an ISO situation, good luck. It's going to be a long night. Murray, the Big Ten leading scorer, also player of the week. Had 37 in his last game. Count that one and the foul. Pressure is something Michigan's got to look to attack. You've got to score with Iowa. If you can't stop them consistently, you better score with them. Murray misses. Houston the board. Here comes the Wolverines. You're Iowa. You can live with that shot. Joe Toussaint has checked in as well. He's got the rock now. Keegan the jumper. Good. It's a three. Just so smooth. He I want 11 2 run. Up two. McCaffrey inside throws it up for Keegan Murray. Delaney, 6 11 sophomore. Here's Keegan Murray. Oops. Fades, no good. Back on the wall. Murray, no good. Had a matchup down low. Didn't find him. No, he didn't. He kicked it out to Murray instead. Murray drives. Haynes, no good. The kick, though, is good by the freshman, Sanford. Diabate's got 12. Michigan ran that at the end of the first half, and it worked to perfection against Purdue. Dickerson rejects that one. Coach. Yeah, we did. They, they, right. won, they won one of these, what, three years ago yeah. against, against Rutgers. Why Murray not? got it! Yeah. Oh, wow. Man, that's tremendous. God <laughs> bless him. Everybody gets in my bed. Yeah, exactly. Murray's jumper short. Iowa needs to get some paint. The block Maintain position, so when the ball came his side, held a seal. One point lead. Murray drive. Challenges Dickinson. Count it. Straight that one rims out. Here's Bohannon now. And Murray lays it in. And you have a Keegan Murray on the floor. To his brother. Murray challenges Dickinson. And gets tied up with Devontae Jones. It's not moving around the perimeter. Oh. Murray misses that three. Follows up his own shot. Missed the dunk. Murray attacks. And missed the follow. I thought he got hit twice. Jones hangs and Hawkeyes have missed seven of the last eight shots. Here's Murray. Foul. Count. Here's Keegan with five. Went for the dunk, missed it. Oh, he's and he's hurting. Up. Man, your movement should get you something good if you're Iowa. These tight curls, another down screen. Here's Murray. Haynes. 
Rebracha back to Murray. Dunks it in. I don't know, man. I... Here's Bohannon. He's going to bring a ball screen with Keegan Murray. Double ball screen up top. Don't need a three. Murray, the three. The tie it. Rolls off. A guy that is known as a shooter but has really struggled from beyond the arc. It's a good sign to see him get it to go down. He led this team in three-point field goals made last year. His shot less the transfer. Knocks down a three. Playing with so much confidence. Shooting the ball. Murray left it short. And now here comes Verge. Murray back the other way. Murray, the two-hand jam, and the foul. Stopping a 6-0 Nebraska run. For into the hands of Bohannon. Now Connor McCaffrey just checking in. Murray left it short. Well defended by Warwick. Tracked down by Webster into the hands. I mean, top five in points, rebounds, and blocks in the Big Ten. Big time. Murray tries a three and puts it in. And Murray with the rebound. Murray by himself won't go. And now Wilcher. The previous 6-0 run by Nebraska in the fourth turnover of the first half for the Huskers. Kobe Webster's got to be more disciplined than that. Just a... Bohannon. Murray the putback. And a timeout taken by Nebraska. And a Walker and another one left off the rim by Derek Walker. Now up ahead to Murray. That's what Keegan Murray can do, though. Nebraska. Minutes without a bucket, and Verge gets a tough one in the paint. Murray. Goodness. Everybody in the building wanted that. The lid on Carver Hawkeye Arena might have popped off. Murray gives it up to Tucson. Back to Keegan Murray. in that spot on the floor. Yeah, which is interesting because you would think a shooter would be more comfortable off the ball, but some guys like to just have the ball in their hands more, and that's what being the point does for Bohannon. And that's first, yeah. Matt. Ten. Keegan Murray again, this time straight away. Quite enough of him attacking. Murray. Link in the passing lane. So you get a, a made basket, and then look at McCaffrey's early, or excuse me, Keegan Murray's e early post ups. Just really good. That's a three. Keegan Murray, 20. Got clobbered, but the ball ended up in the hands of Keegan Murray. The weird sequence. Now back the other way, Bryce McGowan's. Often, as a role player, you have to settle into that role for you to really flourish and get comfortable and get confident. Keegan Murray, no. Sanford rims out. Their, their energy and effort and attention to detail on defense has waned a little bit. Keegan Murray now up over 30 points, his third 30-point game of the year. Because you know what the score is, and I, I think that's one of the things that's always challenging is to not play to the score, play to a standard both ways, you know. And, Right now, the lift differently, his sleep is different, his nutrition is different, but he's figured it out, and he's put on 25 pounds since high school, which Fran believes has really helped him at this level. He was missed the first 10 games of the season. It's just, this is really the first year he's been able to totally play consistent minutes. The friendly roll. That's a new career. Gonna have to do. They have got to drive the ball. It starts with paint touches with the Terrapins. They're gonna dribble drive and a kick. Double comes on Keegan Murray, and he still has two for the fourth. These legs. Ayala the miss. Rebound for Murray. Keegan Murray got bumped. Still scored. That was sweet. I mean, he and against Michigan in a rescheduled game. Murray 
two to shoot. Step back. Missed it for three in the rebound, Russell. Hart, who hasn't scored as much over the last four games, gets a pretty good look from three and knocks it down. Oh, Murray play. on the lob. Nicely done with McCaffrey the five. Well, that was really well executed once again by Murray. I've been so impressed with him defensively. Sunday or even here early, he has been phenomenal. Just switched hands in midair. Rebracha the follow, no, and we'll get a foul for Green. High low for Murray. Bracket coverage on him. He goes up, scores, and gets the whistle. That was brilliant. They've taken 26 to Maryland's 18. The offensive glass and also points in the paint have really hurt Maryland. And there's another two right on cue. Simple ball screen action. Keegan Murray, Maryland. I'm Jordan Bohannon pushing again. Well, McCaffrey loves him getting the ball up the court that fast. And he rolled it in for Murray. His body control is elite. Well, it really is. But the pass there fell out into the backcourt. So it wouldn't be a backcourt violation. And that goes down for Keegan Murray. The crowd wanted the backcourt violation. There's no way you can call that a no, backcourt violation. The defender ripped it back. The ball but didn't really play the ball. I mean, he saw it the whole way, got a hand on it. And, I don't know. It was a weird play. Murray knocks down a three for the Hawkeye. That's the luxury that Iowa 18 minutes a game. We're used to 18 points a game, I should say. Reading is hard. For UCLA, <laughs> Keegan Murray on the doorstep. Oh, that, Two more. That is not hard. I mean, that's just a simple high low. And Keegan Murray, the personnel to go out and win at a high level. I have to say, I love NBA analyst Robbie Hummel. <laughs> Thank you. You've done a bunch of bold games. Now you're NBA analyst Robbie Hummel. Oh boy, Murray for three off the free is. <laughs> they have to use a roster spot for him. Two for Martinez. In Martinez, you, you feel like that's a guy. Oh, wow. oh my gosh. Bohannon says, let's go up top of the program. But we'll see how they decide to play. Euless, that was somehow a pass. Murray, the stuff. Oh, he find EJ Stevens and a terrific start for Ben Johnson's ball club. They've been in every game that they have played outside of Illinois and Purdue. So you're going to have to guard that lead. Keegan Murray to stay out of foul trouble Minnesota continuing to get whatever they want in the half-court offense Keegan Murray out of the corner that is an air ball but a track down by Rebracha shot clock did not Perkins with the shot clock at six that doesn't go offensive rebound though for Murray back up no and Curry able to snare it out of there for the Gophers Battle missing there. No, it speaks to all the other things Iowa does so well, right? And they get to the free throw line. And as I say it on cue, Keegan Murray does just that. For margin, a huge part of the reason why they are at the top of the Big Ten. Off the miss there. Here comes Murray. Murray strong to the hoop, but he can't finish. And battle the rebound for Minnesota. Hawks are one of their last seven from the field. Murray trying to end that and the rebound to Curry. Got a pretty good look. Just flashed right to the middle now for Willis. He is three for the Gophers. Perkins lobs it inside Murray. He had it knocked away from behind. Iowa is now two of nine on layups of, of Minneapolis. And it's a list of Hummel regrets. It is. The endless list. That one missed oh, by McCaffrey. Rebound. Great offensive rebound by Keegan Murray. And that's a man's board by Keegan Murray. Keegan Murray driving on Thompson and lays it in off the glass. He smells blood in the water right there. You've got a freshman in Trayton Thompson. Chris Murray in the paint. Now it's his brother Keegan. Step back three. Got it. I love the fact right there, Dave, that Keegan Murray doesn't, doesn't go. And Murray the rebound. Eric Curry got him a really good look from three. There's Murray getting downhill. I will say though, Jamison Battle has got a top in that zone going to take the middle, but the ball is swinging back to his side, and, and Luke Lowy not going to get a more open shot than that here today. Murray, that one rolls out, and Curry the rebound. And Murray the rebound. Murray with his sixth double double now. Here's his three ball. Perkins going home. Oh, no doubt. It is one of the great coaching stories in the country this year. 
Started out 10 and 1, one at Mississippi State, one at Michigan. As Murray hangs and hits. So that's the varsity. Right? Jamison Battle had 20 the first time these two teams got together. Murray for three in the lead. Yes. They lob it inside. Keegan Murray throws down the dunk. They're just playing four round one. Keegan Murray's got the favorable matchup. Well, Lowy over Bohannon gets the roll. Luke Lowy, oh, he earned that one. Jordan Bohan did a pretty nice job, but you better look up because I was coming the other way. And so the starters have to be in. Jameson Battle leads the Big Ten in minutes. Peyton Willis is right there at number two. Lowy at eight. EJ Stevens at 13. I mean, those guys are, are playing some serious time. And it is Dalian Johnson with Penn State's first points. Yeah, that's the kind of energy they want on the offensive end from Johnson, being aggressive. They get a quick stop on the other end. Keegan Murray's first attempt. Defensive. I did. <laughs> Down to Keegan Murray, low in the blocks. And he got off to a bad start as well against Purdue. He had two early. One, he had that great game at Northwestern. Purdue, he had two early. One, he had that great game at Northwestern. Then he misses that Ohio State game. And his rhythm has taken a while to get back. <laughs> Look who got the board back into his own and making big shots lately. Keegan Murray, 0 of 3 to start this game. Hands all over him, no foul. Offensive board for Rabracha and an opportunity. Murray battling down low with Greg Lee, who had been starting for Penn State. All right, here's the money player right here. Hickett did a great job standing his ground, went after it, and draws the foul. But Keegan Murray's gonna not looking for his shots on a regular basis, but sometimes he'll defer to the guys who are the hot hands, and that clearly has been the case tonight. But now he wants it in the post, and has his first field goal with authority. Yeah, actually of the year, although I think it's gonna be Johnny Davis, or Kofi. I'll go Johnny well, Davis. But certainly in all, yes. first team all conference. Yes. He's yes. a lock for first team yes. all conference. There you go. Takes the three. Having a rough night. Come at huge times. And Iowa back down by four. Murray over Lundy. Got the block. Great defense by Seth Lundy. Taking the challenge. Inside of a minute, Bohannon's in trouble. Out to Murray for three. Just his second make shot of the night. Did I tell you? Guys have to go. Bohannon into the front court. Spins. Has to get it up. Heave for the win. It's tapped in. It's tapped in. Keegan Murray at the buzzer. To Carry over effect. Murray was scoreless in the first half. All 13 of his points in the second. And he goes right back to the bucket. And Iowa's got the lead. First 30 seconds. They found Mount Murray. Open for three. Back out to Murray, takes it right at Dredd, and Iowa back in front. You cannot give Keegan Murray multiple chances. They were literally laughing at me when I made that joke before the game. There's Murray for an open three. The ball back in. Huge miss for Miles Dredd, who sent this game to double overtime. Murray on the baseline. Chris Murray, the rebound. Bohannon for three. Bohannon, streak into the basket, doesn't get the ball. Murray, around a screen. Look for three. Dread the rebound, you have to foul. 83. Murray, tough three. Hits! With 1.3 on the clock, we're not done. Matt Painter knows his bigs inside can match up with almost anybody in the game. No doubt about it. And the glass is going to be important because Iowa wants to play fast. And in order to do that, you've got to rebound the ball. And Purdue, one of the best people wants to do, but you may have to do it to keep yourselves from getting chewed up inside. I completely agree. Keegan Murray, he'll launch the three. That's short of the rebound to Gillis. Points at 0 for 2 start for the third leading scorer in the nation. 
Patrick McCaffrey, five to shoot. Here's Murray, got a good look from McCaffrey. And we've got a foul underneath, and Rebracha. A lot of their work's done on this end of the floor so far. McCaffrey with four to shoot. Boilermakers everywhere. Murray has to launch from the elbow. Right place, right time for Keegan. Has had pretty much a 10-0 run or better in almost every game this season. So they can put spurts on. LaGracha is down, a little slow to get up, and he is limping. Spanovich trying to make sure they don't, missing on that three. 10, 10 for 18 from deep his last two games. Keegan Murray going to find the range on that three, and that's why he stays in this game. That's right. Off the floor, get the stop, now in transition. Entry to Keegan Murray against Gillis. The hook, in and out. Not a good look, and Stefanovic the rebound. That's good offense, though. And the loose ball scooped up by Keegan Murray. Got numbers. And they hurry to Sant. Back to Keegan Murray for three. Kevin, whenever Iowa the players have really been good here for the career highlight for Isaiah Thompson with 18 points. Keegan Murray, that three a little strong. Rebound McCaffrey, he'll take a timeout. More pronounced in those areas, so I will have their hands full. Keegan Murray in traffic. That roll gives him two more. He's got 14 on the night. Four preseason foot injury, just his 10th game. Makes a big difference, too. He's a talented kid. He can do a lot of different things from that forward spot. Speaking of talent, how about Keegan Murray? Big Ten's leading scorer. Really had... And what's interesting is usually when Iowa gets a lot of stops, that's when they get their transition game going, but just couldn't really get it rolling offensively at the rack. Murray one and done on that trip as Lundy gets the rebound. 39% on the year. Really need his three-point shooting in a major way. Murray, tough fadeaway, and few make a tough shot look easier than Keegan Murray. Murray, a little running hook, just strong. Not a bad look, though, for Keegan Murray. That's his shot. That's just to keep you off balance. And the Hawkeyes take advantage. Shot clock down to eight. Here's Murray in the corner. Just short, and the rebound caroms off Rebracha into the hands of Jalen Pickett. And State within three. Bohannon wants a little help from Rebracha. The bounce to Murray. That three well short, and the rebound out of bounds. <laughs> There's more home games this year. Yeah. Murray in the corner. That three won't go. Chris Murray with the rebound, and he'll go to the line. Keegan Murray's missed his last four shots. Changes that one with the left-hand hook. But I like that from Keegan Murray because he made a quick move. He did, no doubt about it. But I think the more he gets comfortable and the more also Michael Shrewsbury gets comfortable with him on the floor, the more he's going to produce. Murray shot a little bit short, and the rebound thrown back into play. McCaffrey over to Joe Toussaint. Keegan Murray in the corner. Three won't go. Hera with the rebound. He's got five boards this afternoon. Two Ten to shooters. Keegan Murray. Murray muscles it up. Won't go. Foul battling for the rebound inside. That'll be on Penn State. I'm going to get crazy, but maybe he's got to start getting aggressive defensively. Three to shoot for Keegan Murray, and the three falls. He was 0 for 6 from deep. As you saw right there, perfect example of that. Just stood his ground, ball jarred loose. Dean Reber has, has emerged as that backup big, but they need a Mori on the floor to battle some of these bigs in this conference. There. Inside, got his own, added the stats a bit as Harper's shot taken away. Here comes Toussaint, great speed on the push, and the lob to Murray, tough catch, and McConnell the rebound. What defense there, Paul Mulcahy, he read that for the rebound. Is now two of his last 19 from three after going off against Michigan for 27. It, it has been a struggle for Geo Baker shooting the ball. Tip try off the miss. And there's two guarding him. Drop it off. The help side defense not coming over. Dean Reaver finishing it off. Murray with a fade away. Mulcahy the rebound. Mulcahy leading the league in assists in conference. Tony Perkins on the floor for the Hawkeyes. Here's Murray. Two for five tonight. Murray inside. Gets it back. Rejected by Amore. Here comes Miller on the push. Hawkeyes do a good job getting back. And make a shot. 
Hawkeyes are 4 of 18, Rutgers 5 of 17. I do believe both of those numbers qualify. Off again on the three and a foul underneath. Rebound. He's got eight first first half rebounds. Only five points for the nation's leading scorer on two for eight shooting. Now give him seven as he stayed with it. And gets two more and a timeout. Taken in some trouble. Needs some help. Murray gonna have to launch. One on the shot clock. Step back three. No good. Shot clock violation. And a turnover back to Rutgers. That reminded me. That's two. High quality looks for Geo Baker. This time you throw it at the post and Cliff Amori throwing it out, getting Geo Baker a look, can't get it to go. And that's where Keegan Murray is so dangerous. Cut back door and gets to the rack. Murray the launch. Murray with an answer, the three. And Keegan Murray's got his fifth double double. Get the ball in. This matchup, though, Murray against Amori. He'll try the three, and Amori with the rejection. That's that lane. Flip Amori staying in the stands. Bohannon came back to try to clean Amori off. A long pass. Murray with the catch. The three. Oh, yeah. Amori short. And Rutgers survives at home. Minnesota's being out rebounded by about 11 boards per game. Lowy hits the deck. Murray missed the bunny inside and corralled by Willis. They get back, and Rebracha hoping for a whistle. We play on. Toussaint leaves it for Murray. The floater doesn't go. Rebracha got it back. Another chance for the Hawkeyes. Bohannon up top. Try again for three. And Murray had position on Willis. Puts it up and in. First situations today for Minnesota. How do they finish those? Great job by Steve. Murray, turnaround, Shea from the baseline can watch that all day. He's so good, Corey. I, I mean, and Murray takes it himself from end to end and scores. Rebound, driving the floor, and Murray off. Well, that's why Minnesota's had success. They're fourth national goal as far as turnovers per game. Murray's three is off the mark. And Ramberg boxing out. Tony Perk big exactly, today. No, you're, you're exactly right, Corey. He's going to have to play the five at some point. Sanford lob down low. Murray with the dunk. <laughs> Murray had well, the last four minutes. I will buy 12. Can Murray add to that? Yes, he can. Keegan Murray now with 10. Corey, that's just a big boy basket. One on one try. And Murray with the steal. Read that pass. Can the Gophers get back? No. The pilfer, then the punch from Murray, a game-high 12. Murray today. Keegan stripped, got it back off the glass, and two more. That fortunate Murray got it back from battle, tied up with Willis. We play on, and Murray waited and missed. That should have been a turnover. Great catch there by Murray in the big reason why I was built a double-digit lead. Lowy the miss. And here comes Murray. Now battle finally picks up Murray off the side of the backboard. Wanted a whistle. The run out. Stevens ball with three-point shooting. Minnesota made its first to begin the game. Has missed its following seven. Murray underneath. Got Lowy up and two more for Keegan Murray. Corey, and you talk about Iowa found a mismatch. Murray against Lowy, and Keegan Murray is having his way at the bar today. It's a great cut. It's a great pass. You look at Tucson's eyes right there. Two points in the paint. 42 total points for Minnesota. But it's not just been one guy for this Iowa team. Everybody's contributed, and that's what makes this Iowa team so tough is their depth. Willis with eight. A 9-0 run. Here's Murray underneath. And we were talking in the timeout. All right. A run. Perkins against Lowy. The ball's not moving at all. Shot clock's at three. Keegan up top. And the silencer. The floater game is the guy that drags the defense. Bohannon. Shot clock down to five. Here is Murray stepping back. And Jordan three. So many areas.
their top two scores in Jackson Davis and Thompson. Looking for their sixth win out of their last seven in their third straight as Murray leaves the jumper short. He'll step back. Now Chris Murray takes it into Jackson Davis. Leaves it off. And it's Keegan to finish. He scores. Nice little dive to Grimm. He's game up a little bit now. Has it been on the floor, getting that attack mode a little bit more. He's got it right here. Spinning inside and scoring to start the second half. He's tough that elbow top of it. Some elevation. Just smooth. For a guy who last year averaged seven points per game. It's more than tripled that. He fires away here. Offline. Tracked down by McCaffrey. Now, Both hands wide open. Right that wide open one. Toussaint, third opportunity for the Hawkeyes. There will be a fourth. It belongs to Keegan Murray. Oh, a different attitude this team has early. The dribble here. McCaffrey, long three. Around it out. Murray, the offensive rebound with a soft touch over the top. Well, he just has a nose for it, doesn't he? Nice soft delivery. Here he is. Keegan Murray. Switched off onto Jackson Davis. Fading and off the rim. Ripped away by the captain who fouled by top. One in the set. Nice pop screen by Bohannon. Keegan Murray's three wouldn't go. Tipped out of bounds. Last touch by Indiana. For a hit. Now, see, we, we're talking about Keegan Murray. Johnny Davis with, believe me, Brad Davis is going to have some impact on this game. Oh, what a feed from Joe Toussaint to get it into Keegan Murray. It's all over the floor, and he's still able to get it to go. Oh, that was really good there. Robracha built the wall nicely, but, wow. Can't even get your comment in. Boy, I was so fast. <laughs> <laughs> Went up the court knowing, knowing that, keeping that balance. Oh, man. And a flop warning will be issued against Wisconsin as that snaps a 10-2 run. Wall, 6% from three. So for whatever kind of shot it is, it is working for him right now. Everything's going in the right order. Speaking of things going well, how about Keegan Murray on a great cut to the rim? I'm telling you, his movement off the ball to Chris Murray. Now McCaffrey on the run. Spinning against Vogt. A little short. Keegan Murray with a rebound and a two-hand hammer. Oh, man. I think he's putting his mark on this game, Kevin. Up a little size against Wall. McCaffrey with nine on the shot clock. Familiar foe in front of him in Davison as Murray fades away with four to shoot. Cannot connect. Go up and they show out. McCaffrey, bullet pass inside. Murray, good adjustment. Count the bucket and he'll go to the line for one more. And if that happens, that, that makes Wisconsin elite. Murray got a road win at Purdue, so they show what they're capable of. Neath comes in like Greg Gard thinks he will, or in the paint area. Murray around the screen of McCaffrey at the foul line. That jumper may have been changed a bit by Crowell on the rebound Neath. It was a good challenge by Crowell without him. Gonna have to go to work against Neath. Four on the shot clock. McCaffrey inside, spins, finds Murray. Blocked underneath by Wall. The challenge and a shot clock violation, the result. And Murray, the rebound. 13 for Murray to go with three. In the rebounding category, Murray end to end. Few do it better than Keegan Murray in the open floor. Keegan Murray glide. Defend the nation's leading scorer. It is, and he's out there on an island by himself. That's a lonely feeling. Murray off the inbound. That three won't go. Offensive rebound underneath, and a good bounce down to Chris Murray. I love that decision by Greg Gard because you've got a 15-point lead. Even if Iowa cuts in it to a little bit. Oh, oh my. I think that hip is okay. I think <laughs> it is. They're getting their calculators out like, what? 2017? Five years ago, yeah. the last time he missed back-to-back -back free throws on a two-shot foul. He's one of the best free throw shooters in the conference. He is the best in Iowa history. Yeah. Burn. Rebounded by Keegan Murray. 20, 22 points tonight for Keegan Murray. Looking for two more. He'll get two more. He's got 24. Nice job playing off of two feet that time. When you go off one and that oh, guys can do that. Remember the game in December against Indiana here. Indiana was rolling in the first half. And Wisconsin cut the lights off. They sure do. He got seven foot four. Why not use him? Nice cut, Rabracha. Rabracha puts it up and in. And of course, the big fella just staying at the... Was a... 
was a senior when the commissioner was a freshman at Penn. Amazing. A lot of ties. Look at the big man. Come right in and score. And faced him up <laughs> and attacked him right to the... Murray, two on him. Stanford. He can oh, shoot it. Oh, oh. He's done that now. He is a confident kid from deep. Keegan's got to get a couple of touches here, I think. Bohannon. There you go. Made a career out of that. Got some range, doesn't he? Well, that was made by... There you go. Thompson on him. Four to shoot. Nice drive here. Oh, oh he actually, actually helped him. Yeah, he helped him go in. <laughs> got a Grant, you guys saw it, but the Iowa defenders didn't. Tough shot. Patrick out of He can play. He has really showed his wares. That time. Baker chasing Bohannon. Here's Murray. Perkins. He'll launch from deep, and he'll hit. One of the big stories. It's amazing to see the way the game has transpired because of the way Rucker started today. Murray. Oh, good challenge by Harper. Here's Perkins. The three falls. If it's not Murray. But it's subscribed today. Oh, Casey Simmons with a beautiful closeout on Keegan Murray. Chris Murray will try and hit from deep. We've said it throughout the year. But if you. Here's Bohannon. Puts on the brakes to Murray. What can he handle? Bohannon with a three. Number 13. They're one from tying the big. Tony Perkins. And now Keegan Murray. Back to Perkins who fires a three and not knocks it down. Iowa has scored on 12 consecutive to Murray. Michigan 0 for 3 from deep to start. Rebracha beating everybody down the field. And the North Dakota transfer on the board. Yeah, it just can't happen. When you're retreating, you can send. They're going to clear out that side. Let him go to work. Seven to shoot. Five on the shot clock. To his brother Chris for a three. Oh, what a shot! Chris Murray. Back to Bohannon. Here's Murray inside. Good find to his brother. Count the bucket. Chris Murray having himself a night while Keegan Murray has. He'll try here with an open look from three and he'll hit it again as we speak about it. Fire. I mean, that's a terrific pass. And if you're not going to guard Connor McCaffrey, which teams have done, find ways to get Pete Nance more involved. I mean, he's just too talented. To only, to only have, what, what's he got? Two shots? Two right shots now? and yeah, two points. They have got to find ways to get him involved. Here's Keegan Murray. McCaffrey will try again from deep. Why not? That's five threes for Connor McCaffrey. This has been just an incredible shift. Five to shoot. He does. Off the heel, but a reload. Perkins wide open three. Book it. There's your offense. Crashing the boards, giving the rest drive and kick. To Murray. Rimmed up. Bohannon chases it down. Another reload for the Hawks. Three ball goes for number three. And you took Michigan State Jaden Atkins. El pase arriba, Sanford. Afuera. Bohannon. Se acomoda. Intenta triple. Otro triple. Tiene la muñeca caliente, Viruega. Ahí está. La naranja y sacándola de la duela. Movimiento de la línea de base. El pase afuera. Triplazo. Chris Murray. Triplazo de Chris Murray. Bohannon trying to feed Murray on the post. Knocked away by Young Bohannon. You knew he was due. And right now, Iowa. Murray has got to get going offensively. At 20 in the first half. Here's his brother, and Chris Murray drains a big time three. And that was just a mistake. Falling asleep, Patrick McCaffrey lost his footing, lost the ball. Jumper is good. Philip Rebracha. In terms of scoring the basketball, his Iowa team up huge. Here in College Park, I Bohannon. Mean, he's wide open again. Another three for Bohannon. Nija. Davis in battle, trapped on the baseline, tries to get it to Charlie Daniels, and they turn it over. Here's McCaffrey on the break. 
the best defensive possession that we've seen Iowa have so far play the five. Going to battle Eric Curry. But to your point, offensively, all five Gopher starters have already scored as Sanford drains the three. Minnesota with a really big... He's given so much to this program, but battle back problems, hip issues, ankle. Now the shoulder. Ulis for three, and it's good. Aaron Ulis. Samuel Murray ripping down the rebound. Now Keegan Murray to work. Leaves for Rebracha up against Williams to bank it home. A great play from Penn State possessions. Murray working against White. Here's McCaffrey launching again, hitting again. Patrick McCaffrey, two for two from deep. In their state, that's how they want the game to be. They want to slow it down, make it physical. So Penn State's imposed their will in that regard. McCaffrey had the hot hand early. Hits the three off the timeout and all the It's deep post position because of the screen that gets set. And because of that position, he's able to get two. Extra pass, Bo handed in the corner. That three will drop. You're not going to see two air balls, you wouldn't think, from that same spot. No. Murray able to keep the possession. Keegan's missed his last three shots. Bo handed a launch from deep, and he'll rattle it home. First points of the night for the that composure on both sides of the ball. Masner with the quick trigger. Murray the rebound on ahead for Rabracha for the right hand slam. Rebracha coming in hot, taking off from the big six point game with 7.55 to go here in the first half. Catch and shoot three by Peyton Sanford. Textbook execution by Iowa. Sanford coming off that. Gets his rebound. Blocks. Blocked away by Patrick McCaffrey. And now it's Sanford with a two hand flush. Already the third dunk of the first half here for the Hawkeyes. Tony Perkins pulls the trigger. Keegan Murray, what a rebound. Looking for an assist. Connor McCaffrey. Iowa fans will love that shot from Connor McCaffrey. Just his third three They're off the trap. Here's Murray with the ball attacking and now kicking it out. Bohannon for three. Smaller players, but not inside. Averaging a tick under 24 a game is Keegan Murray. This time he passes, and the coach's son, Patrick McCaffrey, knocks down the three ball. You have to be concerned, of course, I was a team shoots over 38%. Virginia doesn't have anyone in his normal rotation shooting that much. And there you see the floor game of Keegan Murray, more than a scorer, finding the cut. Too much. Shedrick battling for the rebound. It comes to Bohannon. Toussaint nope. pushing. Nope. Don't mind that shot at all from Reese Beekman. Attack the basket. He's had success. Patrick McCaffrey from the outside. <laughs> Bohannon for the answer. Yes! Oh, ho, ho. a little off the heel. He'll get a chance. Was just one for nine from three against NC State. Good patience down low. Rebracha yeah. able to get his first two. Really the upset. Bohannon trying to knock in his second three in the offensive rebound. But finds Rebracha to side. Drive for Young. Trace Young making plays. He's got 10. The three on the other end drops for Peyton Sanford. He's got 11. Against all these elite teams and keep your energy, but he's got to find a way over these next five minutes and into the second half to be explosive at the offensive end. Toussaint exploding for nine. A beautiful mural, renderings of the mural that's being painted as we speak in downtown Raleigh. A chance to go to the line for Philip Rebracha. Back to the floor here. It feeds Monroe short. Yeah, good look. Up ahead, Perkins. Good patience from Perkins. The roster in, in say, 6'11", Richard Garza, 6'11", Jack Nungy are gone, but at the wing position, this is still a really long team. Paul Hannon gets a Carver Hawkeye roll. You earn that. Shot clock, pretty good day. Take it from the corner. Pass nice around. Tip. And put back up and in by Keegan. Brother to brother, nice little tip, keeping it alive. Chris, two. left hand, short of the mark. Williams goes back out. And a reset. Not for long, because Ivy wanted it. 
He's not afraid of those long-range three-point shots. Nice-looking stroke, though. Back in the rim, so hard to defend. Perkins quickly now. Thought he got fouled right there. He glides, doesn't he? Back, back out to Bohannon. A wide open look for Perkins. Perkins can take that. Now they've got the numbers. Nice extra pass. Ivanovich was the open man after that. And nice play by Connor McCaffrey, too, just deflecting the ball. You have to one. It's going to be so tough to play Purdue. I mean, they just wear you down with Williams, with Edie. That rotate them in and out. Foul problems they create. They got a plus 10 rebound margin. It's really four against four as they hug Bohannon. Connor McCaffrey. Nice rebound. Nice bounce pass to Gillis. He had that one blocked underneath. Gillis, this ball fake. Steps in, lost him on the way up. How about the hands? <laughs> He's everywhere. Oh, pesky. And he glides when he does it. He did, knocking off Illinois. Possibly nine teams. Mm. Could be. That's Williams. And a rebound out to Murray. Looks like Michigan's one of those bubble teams, but... Got to go to the ground. He's got him now. This match. Right over the top they go. Couldn't find a cylinder. Half four or five times. Look at that. On the floor. Perkins. Good thing you go there. <laughs> nice move, but it's blocked by Murray. Oh, Into the hands of Bohannon. What's well, amazing with Keegan Murray, they don't really call a lot of plays for him. He just gets his opportunities within the flow. Now, here he goes. Tough Set match for him. Oh, and it's blocked and rejected by Jackson Davis, setting up Bohannon. Unable to hit the three, and he's made over 400 of them in his career. He can ring him up, as you alluded to earlier, Jim. That's Galloway, too strong on the move to the basket. Oh, how fast they made up that early 12-point deficit. Defensively, almost daring Indiana to shoot from the perimeter. Galloway doing a nice job finding. They're not making their open shots. Nah, Stewart had a good look. Cox had some good looks. Sanford. No, stay there. Jackson Davis trying the jumper. He hit one late yesterday against Illinois that was huge. And what he says he makes them in practice just for Iowa. I mean, it's going against McCaffrey at 6'5. He needs to be double teamed on the catch. Can't let him go one on one like that. It's almost like an SOS. <laughs> I'm in deep trouble in here. We approach nine minutes to go. Been tightly contested to Oh, wow. as, oh he misses. This is the shot underneath. They got caught changing defenses and weren't all, look at this. Ooh. Slap that pressure. Gave him fits. Don't leave him. Bohannon! Not the who's there. Murray, back up with it. How about that with the left hand, too? He knew if he went right, it would have been blocked. Love. Perkins. Down to Chris Murray. Murray with the floater. And look at who's there. His brother. Gets it back out to McCaffrey. Plenty of time. Corner three. There's McCaffrey, Patrick McCaffrey to work, curling down the right side of the lane. That runner through the hands of Amore, right to Keegan Murray for his first two. Keegan Murray's got a great season. Rutgers is plus 10 in, in point score, uh, paint, paint score in the point. Uh, if I can get it out right. Point scored there. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Kevin. Yep. Anything I can do to help. Connor McCaffrey. It goes Bohanna to launch again. Keegan Murray with the offensive rebound. Tucson will try from deep. And the Hawkeye run. Okay, he with the screen. Harper going baseline on the drive. That won't go. Keegan Murray with a good box out. Hawks looking to run. They're so good in the open. Strong today. 18 for Gio. He's looking for more on the hunt. Threw that one high off the window. Opportunity for the Scarlet Knights. Keegan Murray, 24 today. For the first team All Big Ten player. Bohannon with three with the horn going off. Murray with the offensive rebound. New shot clock. Cracking that loose ball down. 
Seven on the shot clock now for Perkins. Robracha sets the screen. Step back three. That's an air ball caught by Murray fading away, grazing the iron. And more. Lights expert analysis and press conferences. That's coming up after the game on the Big Ten Network. One for two. Murray skying for his eighth rebound. Job they've done on the boards. And they're not a particularly big team. That's right. And so Adige's jumper off the back iron rebounded by Murray, but it's guys like Keegan Murray who do such a good job on the glass. Yes, he does. It, he may get it. Oh, this Iowa team appears to be a team, in my opinion, that can make a, a second weekend run. Here's McCaffrey, especially if he's out there. McCaffrey, Murray inside. The follow won't go for Perkins, and then the tip in drops. Well, you got Perkins. You got Murray on the offensive glass. Northwestern getting Iowa City at 19. And Ty Berry, once he gets it going, a little streaky, but gets it going. He's really effective. Oh, Murray got his own miss, couldn't put that, that one in. There's Rebracha to clean it up inside. In what Iowa does offensively. Yes, it is. And they do a really good job of not only running to score layups, but they'll run to score three-point looks as well early in the shot clock. Perry missing both free throws. Quickly down the floor, Connor McCaffrey. Keegan Murray on the spin. The hook, no, oh, the final wow. yes. Boy, he took that right out of Brian Greer's hands and able to finish. Second time that Northwestern is on all cylinders. It's not that Northwestern has been poor, but when you shoot the three that well in the first half, it just gives you such an advantage. Unable to convert on the front end of the one and one after he chained it up in the band. But that's the kind of effort you need. That's how you want to compete right there. 0 for 2, though, to start on the offensive end for the Wildcats. Hawkeyes with 11 made threes. Holburn, second opportunity, couldn't hit it. Bohannon on the push for the Hawkeyes. Colburn has him. Bohannon doesn't need much room. Here's Murray. Perkins, no. Murray follows with the slam. How about the effortlessness that he springs off the floor with? I mean, it's it, that was really easy. He could have dunked that with his forehead. As the rebound here on the plumber miss. Bohannon, good vision. Ahead to Rebracha. 16 points in the first matchup off the bench. Okay, oh, second tough scoring, shot, no. Second best scoring game of the season. This is uh, Keegan Murray who can rip the rebound and start his own break. A lot of times it just looks like basketball is easier for him than it is for the other nine guys on the floor. Corbello had that one altered right at the rim. Good design from Brad Underwood, but they couldn't execute. Tony Perkarder along with Trent Frazier. Brad Underwood says he wishes he could sign him to a lifetime deal. Trent Frazier lines it up, leaves it short. It was a 15-point lead at one point for the Hawkeyes, but Illinois finished that first Big Ten. Trent Frazier and Jordan Bohannon, who have played against each other now for the eighth time. As Plummer misses a three, neither one have really made an impact. I mean, Frazier made that nice assist, but offensively. Frazier accelerates. Can't get the roll. Murray looks to counter. Ahead of the pack, Perkins. Gets his shot blocked. Gets it back. Frazier turns, finds an open Plummer. Short this time. Rebound Keegan Murray. Bohannon looking for his first pull. Oh, that's from a, a perimeter player. Curbelo pulls. The entire defense collapsed around Kofi. It looked like he had four black. Oh, and double team. Curbelo's a 19% three-point shooter this year, so you understand why that would be the decision. Can't hit the free throw, though. Coburn, three of six. Pretty good D. A nice reaction to get it. Boy. Up ahead. It's a foul call on Iowa. Nice help by Williams in the recovery. Murray lost it. Great hands by Williams. This is exactly what Tracy reported Painter asked for. Ivy to Hunter. Nice tuck in and good defense. And it's Chris. Going away. It was Chris Murray. You're right. Forced it to Keegan. And is that a charge? It is. Maybe the only mistake that Keegan Murray has made. Uh, nice cross. Uh, look at Tennessee. Reach in and force the takeaway. Galloway with had big passing game, right? No question. Good. What a great find. Number zero. 
Ooh. Offense. Yep. Oh, he's hurt, too. Well, maybe taking a blow. Four in this meeting. They lost that first game by four. They lead this one. That is an offensive foul on Keegan Murray. Number two on him. Moment. Well, now they don't have to. Oh, Murray, he wants to hurry. That's a travel and a turnover back to Michigan. And I'm going to say, you don't have to be in a hurry at this. In that first half, just could not get him to go. And now a takeaway. The hands for Barnheiser and a double dribble turns it back over to Iowa and takes us to a timeout. Developed and ultimately what he's developed is an understanding of how to play the game at this level You know, he's always had a high motor. You can ramp a guy up. It's hard to, it's hard to Slow him down at times there you mean, Diabate through on that game well, You got Dawn Staley too. She's just a boss. Man. Oh man. She She's is just cool cool and Her team is really good yeah. as Devonte Jones comes up with a steal another turnover by the Hawkeyes too strong Murray Lost it, and that's a charge. Didn't know if he was going to shoot it. It's Minnesota. He came out just firing, made his first two threes, cooled off. But tonight he's been fantastic. He certainly pushed the ball. He's been really good at giving them that initial thrust. And Connor McCaffrey. Uh, I did not actually. They were dancing for the camera when I walked uh, up to the bananas. They are verbal. Oh, good hands by Dante Scott. Russell. To the rim for two. Dante Scott. Situation is Iowa. The, the biggest thing is beat the people below you and try to steal one above. Iowa turns it over. Tucson right. chases it down. It, John Harris, it, something looks off. You, you're right about the fact that we've only had those slow whistles, but something looks off as he is completely gassed and he is. You will find out if you don't execute, and they'll make you pay like you saw right there. On the floor, Murray is tied up. Possession arrow will give it to Purdue going the other way. And Murray. Headline just trying to get up the floor and get something going, and he just couldn't keep it in bounds. Everybody was on their feet, Carver. <laughs> I'm waiting to see what this is going to look like. Oh, good find, and then it's knocked away. McConnell came around to take it. That saved the layup. Here's Toussaint. Murray left alone. McConnell got out there. That's a travel. Good. One through five, they defend. How good is the run? Going to give it over to the left to Connor McCaffrey, who's come back some ankle problems early in the year. Well, he was great for feeding guards, wasn't he? Mm -hmm. Match by vote rejected by McCaffrey. And now Murray in the open floor. Hepburn trying to pick his pocket, and he does. The freshman gets the better of him, and to the other end for two. That's the second time Hepburn is <laughs> here. <laughs> Taking advantage. Murray inside to his brother. Keegan to traffic. Davison rips it away. Good hands from the wide. After the win at Purdue. That's it. Murray was on the sideline. Boy, it's been several years since they moved the three-point arc out, but you still saw an error by the Hawkeyes in the turnover. Murray diving on the floor for it. The tie-up will be called, and it is a turnover back to the Maryland Terrapins. Let's go back to that three last trip down by Keegan Murray. And, and it was just a simple act. Offensive rebound. Dixon uses the rim as a shield to lay it up at it. Hawkeyes right at their average, 88 points on the board. Iowa basketball. Three-point try, Nick Caldwell off the back iron. Rebound tip to Keegan Murray, who runs into Gus Okafor and travel. Southeastern Louisiana ball. But then two losses by a total of five points to UC Davis and St. Mary's. And now, let's see, it's going to be a jump ball as Ashworth tied it up with Murray. Brand McCaffrey disagrees. Cincinnati, that'll be coming up soon at uh, Crosstown Shootout. But yes, great. These are great basketball rivalries. Good hands by the Cyclones defense picking that one off. Second performer foul, third team foul in the second half as Murray will try to get it going again. Oh, slipped right through the fingertips of Patrick McCaffrey. Especially when that shot clock dips below 10 in this arena. 
And it's traveling violation on Murray. It that means more to them here than a big breakaway dunk. It really does. Murray isolates Jaden Gardner. Needs help. And he traveled. Give Jaden Gardner credit. Stepping up to your feet. Just build the wall and put your hands up, and good things usually happen without fouling. Good defense on the other side by the Hawkeyes, but then Murray turns it over. Mitchell all the way in for the easy two. Team 7, 60% shooting to start this ball game. Murray with nine early points. And a travel. Hawkeyes turn it over for the third time. Bleeds it in, blocked by Murray. And then they turn it right back over. And Coach McCaffrey saying, why? Why would you? Keegan Murray, couple of rebounds. Bodies on the ground, NC Central grappling away another possession. Well, that was Edie who kept the possession going. Ivy. And Edie again. Back block from behind by Keegan. Uh, <laughs> Set me up right there. No, no, I, Set me up. I didn't think he'd go there. <laughs> Move, but it's blocked by Murray okay. into the hands of O'Hannon. What's amazing with Keegan Murray at the beginning? Nice cross screen. Oh, why didn't you take it yourself? Ace Thompson gave it up and it's blocked. Put back though. Who else? Trey right Jackson they Davis. Have 15. And you look at the eye test. Workers passes it with flying color. Exploding down the baseline, blocked away down there, able to get it back amidst the traffic and all from Colbert. He only attempted seven shots, his fewest this year. His first one today hits the front of the rim. A second try gets blocked. A third opportunity blocked as well. Williams comes out of it and then it's knocked out of bounds and it's Keegan Murray. Sanford is taking advantage of lazy defense back into Coburn help defense rejects the shot it was Keegan Murray coming across out in transition just one fast break bucket per side in a half court affair Carbello takes it to the rim got blocked by Murray is that defense I was talking driving inside blocked away the Abate there it's knocked away and Houston will get another chance for Michigan Houston such great size and you talked about it in the Phil Martelli have found at least their niche for the time being of what to do down low. Oh, look at Murray with the swat wow. off Dickinson's hand. And it'll belong to Iowa. Keegan Murray. Under 40 seconds to go. Jones will try from the top. Diabate offensive rebound. His putback is blocked and a foul. Diabate fouling Jordan Bohannon. You want to be on Selection Sunday. If you want to be, win that game, and you'll feel a lot better about your chances. Young thought he was fouled on that shot. Here's Sanford off the bench. His three a little strong. Offensive reach. Underneath, good pass to Simmons. Blocked by Murray, and then a foul on Simmons. Takes us to a timeout on the floor. Time for me to channel my inner Shane Sparks, our... Nebraska defense has been impressive. There's, there's good Murray right there. And there's good Murray with the rejection. Lurking in the first. Se viene el rompimiento Michigan State. Taponazo. Taponazo de Murray cuando penetró la jugada. Aquí viene. Intentando el jumper. Y termina fallando. Pero hay penal. Three point attempts per game. Liddell. Takes himself. Blocked by Keegan. Murray what, what? for you on ESPN and the app. You know, Oregon's starting to look like who we expected them to be. And Arizona's just really good. Collins rejected at the rim. If I got beat like that, I got dunked on. <laughs> Jones tries it again. No. Diabate the follow. Now here's the fresh. What's the trap here? Last time Iowa had a lead in this game. You got to go back to the first half. Buffkin, Haynes, missed it. Here come the Hawkeye. 15 on the shot clock. 30 on the game clock. Devontae Jones driving. That one's knocked out of bounds. Up over the defense. 
Bryce McGowan's no field goals in the first half, and he starts 0 for 1 in half number 2. In full. Both ways, offensively, defensively. Verge right back down to Andre. Chris Murray all over him. And it's off the backboard. Just to isolate him, but instead the back cut is right there, and the lob is on time and on target. Dante Scott is denied once again by Murray. I've been so impressed with that. <laughs> <laughs> if you like offense, this game is for you. Now, hey, there's a defensive play. Keegan Murray, that looks like it's going to be a layup for Julian Reese, and Murray comes over and just erases it. That is one of the strengths of this team. We've talked about the ways they overcome the average shooting. Battle, and it knocked away, and then a foul. And all of a sudden, Carver Hawkeye Arena is alive. Fifth lead change to the day. Puts the Hawkeyes on top. Stevens lost the ball. Murray the other way for Iowa. They can try to back down Perkins. Now has to go to work. Three on the shot clock. Blocked by Murray. And a shot clock violation. Both ends of the court. In an open floor, fast-paced game. That's where Iowa wants this thing. Down to Edie they go. Look at that size mismatch against Rapraja. Edie left it short. Gillis there for the offensive rebound and out of bounds. For career. Kick it. Inside the Hera. Blocked down low. Lee follows and he'll go to the line. Timeout on the floor. It's been a quicker shots. That three off the rim. Tip try won't go. There's Hera cleaning the glass. Rejected by Murray. Another opportunity, though, for Penn State. Well, then, and, and guess what? You're going to have to defend for probably got to be careful with just being too patient and getting caught with tough shots late in the clock. Here's Lee trying to be more aggressive, and Keegan Murray says no. Toussaint now on the break. McCaffrey. There was a track and field athlete at Rutgers, Robert Berkland. Ball knocked free from Andre Hyatt, scooped up by Reber, now loose again, and he tips it out of bounds. It'll belong to Iowa. If I'm Fran McCaffrey... For Hyatt on the baseline. Good defense down low by the Hawkeyes. Hyatt gets it back, rejected by Murray. One more try for Hyatt. No, rebound tipped out, and Hyatt again. This isn't there right now for Minnesota. Late clock, it's battle with two. Turn around, jumper, stuffed by Murray, and a shot clock violation. Now there is Ben. Enough and knocked down the three. Stevens against Murray. And a stuff from Murray. Thompson on the baseline. And a rebound put in by Trace Jackson Davis. Back comes Indiana. Xavier Johnson, the pit transfer, had that shot contested. Thompson followed it. He really does attack them for a game last year. Yeah, both in the NBA, Luca Pistons and. Joe Shenandoah. That's a block from Murray. Well, both these guys, you're talking about Jackson Davis and Murray, they are so slow motion, but he's getting to exactly where he wants to on the floor. First field goal since the 5-0-2 mark in the first half for Murray. Davis in turn of the oh. Murray coming over to get the swat. He's still down. Hit that dude. On the drive, Wall. Poke free, and it'll stay on this end. 9.04 to go. 15-point lead for the Badgers, who have Hepburn. Working against Euless. Spotted Ooh. out of bounds by Keegan Murray, and that'll take us to a timeout here in Madison. And we welcome those of you who have been watching Wisconsin with a mild upset at Mackey, a 74-69 win for the Badgers. Alongside Brian Butch, I'm Kevin Kugler, Iowa. Out to the early 11th. Off the window and an offensive rebound for Reese inside. Gets his own miss, rejected by Murray. And up the floor comes McCaffrey on the run. McCaffrey, the little left-hand runner won't go. He gets his own. Or to shoot the three when they've gone under. But when the offense is stagnant, you don't get any of that. Here's Hart driving inside. Good challenge by Keegan Murray. Asner against Bohannon. Now it's Sandage with two to shoot, blocked by Keegan Murray. Sanford grabs it. And now the Hawkeyes will hold for the final shot. Good up fake by Barisic, but coming from behind, Keegan Murray swiping it away. McCaffrey, we will hope to get 
Good news on Connor McCaffrey, who left earlier here in the second half after it looked like he rolled his ankle, got his leg caught up with a 29. That was against Western Michigan last month. Ashworth hierarching three, no chance. Long rebound. Ball never hit the rim, and now McCaffrey. Bohannon pulls. Help you win games. Here's Condit. Back door. Hunter comes up empty, follows his own shot, and gets blocked. A start off with Baylor and then Texas Tech. And it's a slog. It is an absolute gauntlet in the Big 12, yeah. as you know better than anybody. Can this style of defense plus maybe one? A lot of reserve guys on the floor. Non-starters that really uh, propelled the comeback. Oh, nice recovery by Murray to get the swat of Benjamin Bosman's Verdonk. What a dime drop. Frazier the rebound off the miss. Pulling the trigger quickly. Grandison can't get it to go. Another rebound. Bosman's Verdonk is blocked. That's 11 boards already for Illinois. The Jordan Bohannon has given this Iowa team. Of course, he's been through the battles. He's battle tested. He comes into this environment ready to play, and his teammates have fed off of that. Numbers for Iowa. You see Davis. Ruffin. And Zon Marie trying to find an outlet and it blocked. That was blocked by Keegan Murray, his team best 15th reach. Western Michigan down an important piece to their puzzle tonight. No Bielis White, he is their starting point guard. Had knee surgery on Friday. They expect him back this year. Or a more opportunity, a different role. Why are we seeing a different Keegan Murray one year removed from his first year at the Hawkeyes? Coming into this season, he knew that so many of those veteran guys were gone, Kevin. And he worked with his dad, Kenyon, all summer long on the mental aspects of the game that he has to come out and be aggressive early and set the tone. You can't just be a role player this year, his dad told him. You got to attack early. A brilliant move. Range. On the spin, the dunk down. Good feed inside Murray there for the rejection. And Mulvey able to clear out the rebound. Here comes Frank to Patrick McCaffrey. Rolled in and out. Moving again, the Eagles. And a block by Keegan Murray. Toussaint. Murray from the elbow. And now NC Central on the move. Four on two. Malt speed bleeds it in. Blocked by Murray. He's usually not going to shoot at this poor. Like, I think he's feeling the pressure a little bit from this record, Jeff. Yeah, four for 22 from three. A Look, weak side Murray. block by Keegan Murray. Filling up the stat sheet. Driving. And another block by Murray. Unreal. Open and over. Nicholas Fennell. Perkins played in this gym a season ago with North Carolina Central. He transferred to Longwood this year. And his shot altered by Keegan Murray. Here comes Aaron Eulis. Patrick McKenna. Easy. And, and tonight, making it look very easy. Justin Hill. A block by Keegan Murray. Rabracha pulled in the rebound. And the season debut. Deshaun Wade with the jump stop blocked by Keegan Murray. Too much length. Get that out of here. This 2021-22 basketball season. Isaiah Wilkins tied up in the lane. Here's Jordan Perkins as long as he gets the second half of the ball. On the putback, Murray altered that shot at the least. Patrick McCaffrey runs the... Driving in. And Edie misses the follow-up. Williams playing outside right now. He's got to get to the rim. There they got him. Gordon he loves, loves that hook now. Oh, look at this pass. <laughs> he did this yesterday. Trace, Indianapolis always delivers when they have these big events. And City can host them like they do. I got a whistle and it's going the other. Yeah, he's able to kind of avoid that contact. Kind of slithers through traffic like right there. <laughs> oh, that was flat. Very active start to this half. Gillis. He's up and down low. This is working for him, and it works. No. Tap, no. He rifles that ball. Traveling call. Said he picked up a pivot. Well, that was Edie. He kept the possession going. Ivy. And Edie again. Got blocked from behind by Keith. Pop. Here is the big guy. 
biggest of them all with a hook shot. By the way, he's got third. Five to shoot. Newman lost it for a moment and puts it up and in. Oh, good job. Keep a little, little double. They try to double on the dribble here. Yeah, they aren't though. Williams goes to the other side. In three spurt at the beginning. Nice cross screen. Oh, why didn't you take it yourself? Ace Thompson gave it up and it's blocked. Put back though. Draw two, find open guys. Nice pass. Yeah. Just dumping it down, but Hawkeyes close on him in a hurry. All game long, how quickly they try to double up TJD and Ray Thompson is left. Threes the last two times down the floor by Bohannon. And now Johnson is fouled on the shot. You look at the eye test. Workers pass as if we're flying color. Hopper exploding down the baseline. Blocked away that floor. You're exactly right. Handles the rock. Okay, he under duress. Amori inside short. Rebrach. Look at this note. Pops it up on the screen. And they probably miss a free throw. Direct all your criticisms to BTN Michael. <laughs> Mulcahy on the line to a more. He may get it. Oh, this Iowa team appears to be a team, in my opinion, that can make a, a second weekend. 38-22. Keegan Murray with 14 first half points. Barrett driving from the corner and using the big man that threw that pass. That was Robracha. So when you have a, a big to big like that, that's very difficult to stop. Split two defenders. Robracha cleaning up the Iowa team is something else. Adige on the drive. This is some kind of offensive show today. Young can't get it to go for point blank range. Perkins he attempted seven shots, his fewest this year. His first one today hits the front of the rim. A second try gets blocked. A third opportunity. Oh, enticing. Man, you don't want to change him. It's part of his personality. It's his flair. Colburn gets it and slams it home. Stanford is taking advantage of lazy defense. Back into Colburn. Help defense rejects the shot. It was tipped around. Colburn finds it and puts it in. Corbello feeding inside for Colburn. All kinds of black shirts around. It's impossible. Yeah, a lot of times it just looks like basketball is easier for him than it is for the other nine guys on the floor. Corbello had that one altered right at the rim. Just one fast break bucket per side. In a half court affair. Corbello takes it to the rim. Got blocked by Murray. Would try to wrap up the four seed in a double bye in the Big Ten tournament. Illinois would share the conference championship with Wisconsin with a win. Corbello streaks it inside and scores. Caleb Houston, how good has he been of late? 19 points per game over the last three. The freshman driving inside, blocked away. The Abate there, it's knocked away. And Houston will get another chance for Michigan. Houston, such great size. Era really playing great, Kevin. That era of three games so far. As Dickinson's book won't go. Michigan ice cold. Oh, for really have found at least their niche for the time being of what to do down low. Oh, look at Murray with the swat wow. off Dickinson's hand. Brooks has to kick out to Jones. Two seconds. The runner drops for Devontae Jones. Make the patience, but the shot wouldn't go. And out of bounds to Iowa. I don't want to see Hunter Dickinson passing the ball when he has a foot on the B of the logo in the paint. I just be old to Brooks. And it's a tough matchup for Dickinson. That's why you got to do this. Give him the ball. That's a foul. No whistle. Wow. Rebracha knew he was in the area. Here's Brooks. The step through. Little runner dies on the iron. And, fall. and the kick it ahead. Is huge. There's Dickinson one on one against Chris Murray. And Dickinson made sure he three spurt at the beginning. Nice cross screen. Oh, why didn't you take it yourself? Ace Thompson gave it up and it's blocked. Put back though beautifully. Let's see if they come. Pass. Oh, is that ever? You're right about their. Bob over the top, got it. Thompson. For Rutgers. And you see what Rutgers is wanting to do, similar to what 
Indiana did against Illinois first game. Control oh, man. Climbing over three Hawkeyes to get that one. Baker, crossover, gets past Murray. You look at the eye test. Rutgers passes it with flying color. Harper exploding down the baseline, blocked away to Ryan Young, the handoff to Bowie. Bowie in the corner to Nance now. Nance on the attack against Murray and ran that one in. That was pretty. Just one fast break bucket per side. In a half court affair. Carbello takes it to the rim. Got blocked by Murray. Post him up. Frazier stepping back. Thought about letting it go. Instead, Williams down the lane. And an air ball into the hands of Perkins. Start for us when he knocks down his first one from deep. He has no fear or really worry about range that he's in in court with Eli Brooks trying to break this Iowa pressure they just get it across now Williams will attack driving on Murray and muscles it up and in That's right. out shooters like Bohannon we got a bench in this game tonight not an easy one first time a non Murray led the Hawkeyes in scoring since December 9th against Iowa State that's how surprising that was for everybody Maybe even better of trying to get wins, and those have been tough to come by. Almost a steal there by Murray. Staying with it. McCowan right. to the hoop. Finger roll. Hawks didn't get frustrated as a team. Stayed with it. Crashed the board. McCowan goes up. He gets hammered. Ball swing in the corner. McCowan. Inside instead. Aikens atrás, Hall que penetra, hola, que ataca la canasta. He has a similar game, no, would you don't. say? No, 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 no. A little bit? No. Once again, Malachi. Ball batted around Liddell, keeping it alive. Liddell and his five. Brandon pops out, trying to get going. Got to his spot off the window. Three point attempts per game. Liddell takes it himself. Blocked. By and, and the app. You know, Oregon's starting to look like who we expected them to be. And Arizona's just really good. Collins rejected it. If I got beat like that, I got done. <laughs> Jones tries it again. No. Hey. What the trap here? Last time Iowa had a lead in this game. You got to go back to the first half. Buffkin hangs 15 on the shot clock. 30 on the game clock. Devontae Jones. Drop. Five to shoot. Man, had it poked away. And here comes Keegan Murray. The defense. Oh. Bryce McGowan's no field goals in the. But instead, the back cut is right there and the lob is on time and on target dante scott is denied <laughs> if you like offense this game is for you now, hey there's a defensive play keegan murray that looks like it's going to be a layup for the hawks that is one of the strengths of this team We've talked about the ways they overcome the average shooting battle and it knocked away and he off the step back and all of a sudden carver hawkeye arena is alive Fifth lead change of the day puts the Hawkeyes on top. Stevens lost the ball. Are, are playing some serious time. Sutherland on the drive. No. Thompson they trying to back down Perkins. Now has to go to work. Three on the shot clock. Blocked by Murray. And a shot clock. What Iowa wants. Hand off to Cornwall. Shaheen Cornwall inside. Count the bucket. And he'll here cheering on the men's team. Here's Scott. Baseline drive stripped out of his hands, but Keegan Murray. Hawker Steel Baker reading that screen, jumping out on the switch, and not allowing Jordan Bohan to get a good look, who's been a killer in this building. A Catholic to Rutgers, Robert Perkland. Ball knocked free. From Andre Hyatt, scooped up by Reber, now loose again, and he tips. Seven to shoot, Baker in the corner looking for Hyatt on the baseline. Good defense down low by the Hawkeyes. Hyatt gets it. Murray, Keegan Murray has worn him out defensively tonight. Now Harper gets past Murray to the rim, bounces it home. Daniels wasn't ready for that pass. 
Panthers. Willis with seven against Murray. Up and under and with the left hand. Two. Coming off the best game of his career. Battle back of the line. And he will shoot two. And three. Stevens against Murray. And a stop. He's getting to exactly where he wants to on the floor. First field goal since the 5-0-2 mark in the first half for Murray. Davison turn of a oh. Murray. On the drive. Wall. Poke free. And it'll stay on this end. 9-0-4 to go. Flip back to Hart around the Scott screen. He'll try to attack. Hart off the window and an offensive rebound for Reese inside. Tom climbing over three Hawkeyes to get that one. Baker, crossover, gets past Murray. Good start for us when he knocks down his first one from deep. He has no fear or really worry about range that he's in. And Hawks didn't get frustrated as a team. Stayed with it, crashed the board. McGowan goes up, he gets hammered. To back after changing up the starting lineup. Here is McGowan. High off the window. No. And the rebound. The defense. Oh. Bryce McGowan's no field goals in the. But instead, the back cut is right there. And the lob is on time and on target. Dante Scott is denied. That's Russell with four to shoot. Russell sized up the step back. That's good deep rebound for Amore. Fourth time in the last five games he's been into double figures. Harper. Tough fadeaway for Harper. A little stroke. Now Willis will pull up, shoots over Murray. You okay with that shot? Daniels wasn't ready for that pass. There's Willis with seven against Murray. Up and under. And with the left hand. Two. Scott still tend to shoot. Scott on the attack, turns, muscles that one up, offensive rebound, and to shoot for Scott, spinning against Murray, beautiful move to get inside for Dante. Here's Russell, looking to attack again, lost the dribble, it's taken away by Murray, back to Hart, good recovery by Keegan Murray, now Hart driving on Murray, and he'll go back to the line, Murray against Bohannon. Now it's Sandage with two to shoot, blocked by Keegan Murray. Sanford grabs it. Now late clock, Bean lets it fly, doesn't go. McCaffrey the rebound. And Jones, oh, <laughs> work for that. Over. Newcomers all thanks to the transfer portal. Not a frequent flyer, Miles, on the Vikings roster, that's for sure. Thomas off the mark. One minute to go in this first half. All Iowa this one. Western Michigan on the attack with Marquise Hastings. That third, the sixth in the country. So they love to get the ball up and down. That time able to exploit it and get it easy too. Really the Ducks defense got back. Dorte working with Lawson. Murray on him and Dorte. Man, that is. Before this game is out. We've seen nine lead changes overall. Potter spinning on the baseline. And the shot clock violation turns it. Offensive rebound, the block shot. He keeps it alive. Jordan Bohannon just reins it in. But Keegan Murray has his fingerprints all over. As, as Orange, because if you get the help from Orange, he can make the three. Liddell works in for the floater. Power. Ball pressure is you got to drive it. I mean, you get, yeah. you're going to have lanes to drive, and Nunji did a good job there. Sessoms went into the teeth of the Epson Eco Tank, just fill and chill. Available at. Very much with Dick Fights. All right, Kevin, thanks very much. Wisconsin, narrowly. By Ray Thompson. Absolutely. I think it all started because he fought him in the post up initially. That got Garza out on the perimeter. Hey, okay, nice defense that time. By Ripping Zags game early in the year. Nice rotation. They are deep. Bowie got mad at the Baker up ahead, thought about turning it behind him, and Harper wasn't there. Now he's going to drive. That was a really odd decision by he... Geo Baker. And but Rutgers comes to the ball unbelievably. Arja Davis, Nicky Black. Black, Black, Penetra, Black, 
Se levanta, Black, tablero, falla. Has been able to get penetration and get into the paint. And good things have happened for Southern when he can get in there just like that. But good defense. Incredible. A big thing with Iowa too, they got a score to set up their many defenses. Nice slip and big time finish. Beautiful pass by for Rutgers. You see what Rutgers is wanting to do, similar to what Indiana did against Illinois first game. Control, you look at the eye test, Rutgers passes it with flying color. Hopper exploding down the baseline, blocked away down to the floor. And off to Bowie, lob underneath, broken up by Keegan Murray, really well defended. Just one fast break bucket per side, and a half court affair. Carbello takes it to the rim, got blocked by Murray. Keegan Murray is 13 in the first half. He is some special player. Bufkin, baseline jumper over Murray. Dickinson off. Brooks off the hesitation. Leaving it for Dickinson. He is fouled. And Keegan Murray will make him earn it at the line. Beautiful. Has <laughs> he has a similar game. Would no, you say? No, 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 no. A little bit? No. Once again, Malachi. Brandon pops out. Trying to get going. Got to his spot off the window. Three point attempts per game. Liddell takes it himself. Blocked. Bob. And, and the app. You know, Oregon's starting to look like who we expected them to be. And Arizona's just really good. Collins rejected at 15 on the shot clock. 30 on the game clock. Devontae Jones drop. That is exactly right. McGowan's too heavy on the pass to Walker, who has had some opportunities around. But a little bit too late, and Keegan Murray continuing this terrific night. Stevens left it well short. Are playing some serious time. Sutherland on the drive. No, Thompson making, trying to back down Perkins. Now has to go to work. Three on the shot clock. Blocked by Murray. And a shot clock. Steel Baker reading that screen, jumping out on the switch, and not allowing Jordan Bohan to get a good look, who's been a killer in this building. But Cap Murray, Keegan Murray has worn him out defensively tonight. Now Harper gets past Murray to the rim, bounces it home. The three. Stevens against Murray, and a stop. But these guys have to develop into their own uh, team and identity Davis off balance wanted to coach he's getting to exactly where he wants to on the floor first field goal since the 502 mark in the first half for Murray Davis in turn of a oh. and try to get the Badger offense a little bit off kilter Davis the step back three for Wisconsin Davison picked up by Murray on the switch the fadeaway for Davison Murray Here's Hart now. Ayala. He'll step back. Long jumper. Murray three. Big time execution by Iowa. Russell. He'll try to answer. Can't. Perkins an outstanding three-point shooter. Seven of 16 before that miss. Bean down low. Wanted some contact. No whistle. But some easy. His career high is 29. That was against Western Michigan last month. Ashworth high arcing three, no chance. Long rebound. Ball never over Bracha. Good hustle by Jones. That's all he could do is try to gamble over the top. And now a turnover off the trap. Here's Murray. That's Chris Murray now with 14. And the Hawkeyes have really flipped the script over the last, compared to the last couple games. They're getting on the offensive glass. They're Michael Carter the third. Gonna go back inside with James Zahn Marie. He comes in top of the. Smith turning the corner against Murray. Largest lead of the game for the Hawkeyes. Another drive to the rack. They're not going to shoot at this poor. Like, I think he's feeling the pressure a little bit from this record, Jeff. Yeah, four for 22 from three. Of, look, weak side block by. <laughs> driving. And another block by Murray. Uh, Perkins played in this gym a season ago with North Carolina Central. He transferred to Longwood this year. And his shot altered by Keegan Murray. And tonight, making it look very easy. 
Justin Hill. A block by Keegan Murray. To be able to be trusted in the zone atmosphere, in the middle of the court, if the ball gets to him to make a logical Monday. decision, she had great points in transition. Back up three by Dixon is short. They don't have the basketball, whether it's they're cutting with velocity or setting screens to free up a teammate or free themselves up. wherever he wants to right now. Oh, he's feeling it now. Anyway. Trice in a one-point game. Dump down Potter. Blocked from behind by Murray. Potter. Tournament time. It just happens. You know, Nunji out. So obviously they've had a couple games without him. But still, this is a great game. It's different than practice. Davis got away from the fellow freshman Murray. Nebraska's defense was outstanding right there. You keep the ball out of the paint. Don't let Luka Garza touch and force that tough mid-range jump. The entry to Udraogo. Dig down from Toussaint trying to take it away from the big man. Webster will go to work. Goes past Toussaint, but Murray waiting. So close. You will not find a better teammate than Kenyon Murray. I mean, he just loved wearing this uniform. He stayed in here in the I was really staying with him, but then encountering that, that screen, and Wieskamp gets another good look. There's Baker. Well, he said he needs to take over. Durham skipping. Gets in the paint. Nice catch, Jesse Davis. Four days. That's something to think about. Fourth game in four days for Iowa. Third game in three days for Purdue. Never look the least bit tired, either. Gillis. He's look. There's basket by the Hawkeyes from the floor in three and a half. Go back up by two. And Purdue takes the lead with that. Allowing Indiana to dominate inside like they had early. That's caught wide of the mark. But it did so going to be difficult with this lineup. This is a group lunchtime with the faculty kind of on the that's other side. Nice. Look how they packed in, though, defensively. Yeah. Galloway loads it up. Nice. Really kind of playing the hybrid five position now. Okay, he's passed, deflected by Chris Murray to Hyatt, the three. But it's even at the rim, need to go stronger to the rim, and Pico made no bones about it. They're not going to win if Ron Harper has five points in the second half. Has to get going. Need to in this scenario. He led the Summit League a year ago with North Dakota at 13 double-doubles. Not asked to do that as much here. A ball. Okay, he back, it goes to Baker. McConnell contested three. Handing out there to challenge Geo Baker. Well, this matchup song has been something else. Big Ten tournament. Bowie with five points so far, feeding Nance, who likes the matchup against Euless. The skip to Barrett for three, and Robbie Barrett spun baseline. Beautiful move. Led the Summit League a year ago with 13 double doubles, transferred in from North Dakota as Roper's three drops for North Dakota. Oh, again, Kofi had. 18 rebounds, a season high in Iowa City in the first matchup. Williams picks up right where he left off. I feel like one of the reasons for Iowa's recent success is the emergence of Chris Murray and Tony Perkins as well. Lou Goody out of the corner. 13 out of 16 from the field. Here's Plummer. There's three. Last year, I'm not sure he could have been making those plays and been comfortable guarding on the three-point arm. 19 and 13. Hawkins for the lead. Got it! Up shot. Handles like a guard he, that size, doesn't he? He really does. And, and doesn't make a lot of mistakes. That's what you like about it. Houston trying to answer. He cannot. Confidence feels great. And sometimes for Michigan, I think you do everything. Got the right guy shooting. Not so good. Answer. Jones, he'll try for his second straight three. And Connor McCaffrey with the rebound. He'll push it over to Perkins. Chris with 17 tonight now. Goodness. Houston contested. And the answer is there. And a timeout taken. Extra pass out to Ty Berry for the open three. Got a good look. Chris Collins isn't going to be unhappy no, you, about that. You'll take that possession all day. As good as they've played all year. Now, their offense hasn't been lighting it on fire either. But that's a good drive and an open shot for Adiz. Now, underneath. Michigan at Illinois. 
Barry launching from deep, and he hits the one bright spot offensively for Northwestern, has 11. Yeah, Iowa in that zone, and got those touches in the first half. Block the kick, Bryce. There you go. Hear that? It's not all about Keegan Murray. This Iowa team is so talented, and they're showing it tonight. They can hit you from many different avenues. Burge misses it. Intentaba Patrick McCaffrey. Sin embargo, termina fallando. Vuelve Michigan State a lo más alto de la llave. Otra vez el intento de nuevo. Le puso. Aquí se la vienen dando para que intente el triple. Yeah. Triplazo desde la derecha. El two opponents. All guys have made four straight buckets. Double team to Dickinson. Extra pass. Brooks. County. Yeah. I'm with you. Usually the people that like defense can't score. Houston in the corner. Three's no good. They go into Dickinson. The double. Kick out. Eli Brooks open for three. Is. Solution. Is that, there isn't some sort of schematical solution right now for Nebraska. They just got to play harder and play smarter. Tobinaga. This down from Kobe Webster. 14-3 run right now for the Huskers. Webster puts in a three. Make. Nebraska has scored 20 points in the last five and a half minutes. Walker, extra pass to Wiltshire. They're probably looking over at that clock. Again, that's become your specialized subject <laughs> is Big Ten shot blocks volume. And it's been like eight of ten and, and six of nine. And he's just, it's like NBA jam mode right here. Iowa fans will blame me for that. As Dante Scott fakes the three. It's Ayala. No rebound. Both. Waterfall tonight. Yikes. Nine. A building record for an opponent at 42 from three coming in, but it's hit two here. Giving the Hawkeyes a much needed shot in the arm. They're on top 13 to 12. At games where he's gotten hot. And for the freshman from Waukee, Iowa. Late shot clock here for Sutherland, oh, wow. and he banks it in. Oh, dude. <laughs> Tough That's... problem to have. I mean, I, I was hyped when I had 20 points. Here's battle for three. Shot clock down at seven. Stevens to Curry. Oh, what a Picks pass. it in the corner to Willis. Wow. That is so happened. And Aaron Eulis just going and taking his rock. Here's Battle. He is off his game. The disappointment was that they didn't come out with any energy against Indiana. Well, Indiana was trying to avenge what happened on this floor when they didn't come out with any energy and lost. Yeah. Three-point Iowa lead here in State College. We will get you to Iowa City as soon as we are done here for the Hawkeyes and the Buckeyes. They get it switched off. Murray now the defensive effort to Dredd. Over Murray. Hits the three! And Saturday's win against Penn State. He'd been 5 for 25 in the three games before that, but Graham McCaffrey told us that I never worry about Jordan Bohan. You don't worry about the defenders and knockdown shots. There's Edie against Chris Murray. Back out, out to Stefanovic. The three up and down. Three shot clock under two. Gonna have to launch. Lundy in the corner. And that's a shot clock violation with the air ball. The defense. Three. And Keegan Murray makes the right play, getting it to McCaffrey. Red will launch, and the answer comes from my single night, especially on the road. Two to shoot, one to shoot. Lundy has to launch a contested three, and it. We lead it by one. Sasha on the handoff for the double. Pretty good D, a nice reaction to get for up ahead. Make it rebound number seven. Right now, Williams. Williams is dominating by not even scoring. Well, he wanted the three-pointer. <laughs> he, he, he was ready. Kick it out. Those puppies were... Well, team coming. Got to knock the, the three-pointers down if he loses. I think you've got to come baseline on him, on Davis. Nice tuck in and good defense. And it's Chris. stolen away. It was Chris Murray, right, forced it to Keegan. And that's hard to believe. It's it hard and impossible. Once. That they never would have won it. They'd only get there once. Stolen away. That pass... A little out of reach. Now this team can burn you quickly. Get on the board. Uh, a lot. <laughs> Opposing Big Ten coaches probably have seen it too much. McConnell. 
The skip intercepted. Keegan Murray read that one all the way. Murray to the other end. Two hits. Versatility on both ends of the floor. And off to Bowie. Lob underneath, broken up by Keegan Murray. Really well defended. 8-2, Iowa. Bowie won't go. Brooks looking to push. Got to go. 120 remaining. Inside and a takeaway again. Connor McCaffrey got the hand on it. Turnover number 10. Coverage of the Big Ten Women's Basketball Tournament coming up on Wednesday. They will not play till Friday, but Wednesday is when the tournament begins on the Big Ten Network. And a takeaway. Keegan Murray with the steal and the plus. The steal to the other end. Murray with a one hand hand. The triple. Terminó fallando y fallando feo. Sí. Dos pasos adelante y el triple de muy lejos de Jordan Bohannon. Pero recupera posesión aquí. Iowa. Los Hawkeyes. Universitario por ESPN. El pase rebotado pero termina robando. Arriba de nuevo. Covis que penetra. Sin embargo no alcanzó. A apoyarse en el... Brooks. Off the handoff. Stolen by Keegan Murray. Five to shoot. Mayan had it poked away, and here comes Keegan Murray. A Wiltshire. It's a 6-0 run for Iowa in response to the previous 6-0 run by Nebraska in the fourth turnover of the first half for the Huskers. Bryce McGowan's driving to the basket. I haven't seen enough of him attacking. Murray sends it in. Healthy. Ben had to be like, man, you got you got too much game and too much in the tank to, to sit this one out. We need you. Davis in battle, trapped on the baseline, tries to get it to Charlie Daniels, and they turn it over. Here's McCaffrey on the... Had the first two points of the oh, game five from, the field. from the field. 0 of 2 from 3. Lundy had 12 in the first half, and he stepped on an ankle. And he's still down back behind the play. Rotating in and out, plays like that. Edie inside against a much smaller Robracha, but his pass tipped and taken away. Here's Bohannon. Bohannon dra drag hair away from the baskets. Second threes made. Take this pass, taken away by Keegan Murray. And then he stepped on the sideline, just trying to get up the floor and gets... And Murray with the steal. Read that pass. Can the Gophers get back? No! The pilfer, then the punch. Ramber, second chance on the floor. Rolls it on the ground. It's tied up, and the arrow is going Iowa's way. Oh, halfway down and out. Last touch by Iowa. Couldn't get a better look, could he? Well, that press roars away. Oh, yeah. Wall pass tipped away. Keegan Murray nearly with the steal, and he tipped it out of bounds off Davison. Really good play by Murray. Iowa ball. Yeah, Iowa really made a nice adjustment. Wisconsin tried to... Here's Russell, looking to attack again. Lost the dribble, it's taken away by Murray. The hands of Keegan Murray. Short shot clock situation here for the Leathernecks. And Pearson gets tied up for the second time so far in this game. And this will be turned over to the Hawkeyes on the alternating possession. Caffrey told us is that how he's adapted to his new role this year, being that number one guy, obviously, Wieskamp and Garza moving on, and now he's the man. He's the man with the steal. Against Illinois and Purdue, who's ranked second in the nation at the time. So this is a team that's battle-tested so far as they get into the gauntlet of Big Ten play. Patrick McCaffrey causing the turnover. Keegan Murray can't finish. Now both. It's a career high. 11 made field goals, by the way, for Murray. Or Beth. And the fans wanted to walk. Instead, it's a turnover. An easy two for Robracha. Good hustle by Jones. That's all he could do is try to gamble over the top. And now a turnover off the trap. Here's Murray with the ball attacking and now kicking it out. Bohan His emotions get to him. Here's that three-quarter court pressure again. Good hand by Murray. 
deep three by Bohan. That was step. Good job of getting him the ball. Playing up Maybe the line. This is it. Here's Murray. And he tried to throw it down and missed it. So George Niang and Niang took over a little different. A little pressure now. A little shaky. Here you go. Illinois on top. They've hit four of their last five from the floor. An errant pass, a turnover. Keegan Murray. Good glide from it. Come back from the three now. They hit ten a game, so they're very capable of getting it. And Murray with the takeaway to the other end. Dante Williams will handle the inbound chores. They get it to Cobra, who gets rid of it quickly. And the ball loose on the deck. And it's picked up by the Hawkeyes. Iowa gets the seat. They lost their in-city rivals Portland on Tuesday. That was a 69-54 setback. Knocked away, and a steal. And Keegan Murray with the two-hand jam. Into the answer, Michael Carter the third. Going to go back inside with James Zahn Marie. He comes in top of the team, 10th in the big sky at 15 points a game. And He's announcing today that his quarterback, Adrian Martinez, will not be playing in that game. Injured his shoulder last week against Wisconsin. Kimball with the steal. Toss ahead to Hastings, and it's taken away by Murray. Murray into it. Set it up, get into it, get this ball going east and west, and for a team that turns the ball over as much as the Hornets, that's exactly what you do. Oh, but a rejection on the...